Hi, my friends. Good evening to you on this Sunday night, uh, September the 24th, I think it is. And I want to come to you this evening and welcome you here. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Uh, I appreciate all my subscribers. I love you very much and I thank you. I'm just starting out on this channel. So I'm new and if you're here, you're ob obviously new because I've only had this channel maybe about a month uh, uh, or so. So I'm just trying to grow my little channel and discovering what kind of content would be good to put out and bringing you guys along with me. Uh, tonight I have something a little different and I have been working on several projects, but this project, excuse me, <clears throat> sorry, this project I started in June, and I almost got it finished, and I put it up, I'm bad about that, I gotta quit that, I gotta finish the stuff I start, I, I don't know why I'm that away, but I'm working on it, but this project, I was really excited to start it, and it, there was nothing wrong with it. Uh, it came at a time in my life when I was caring for our uh, disabled daughter, our grown disabled daughter back in June. And I won't get into that in this video, but uh, she needed, as a family, we needed to try to help the situation. So we brought her in our home for a while. And it was... Uh, it was a lot. I, I don't regret it at all. But everything was like scattered around and I didn't know what was this and that. And I just put, put, put the thing up for one thing. I certainly didn't have time to crochet. And I put the thing up and I just thought about it and ran across it yesterday. And I thought, you know what? Let me pull it out. It's practically finished. I just need a little, hold on a second, water. <clears throat> it's practically finished. Let's get going on this. So today I worked some on, uh, today I did work some on this um, granny square sweater. Yes, I did. But I also worked mainly on this project that I'm gonna show you here in a second. It's uh, a pattern from uh, MJ's Off the Hook Designs. It was a free pattern. I got it off of YouTube. She has a channel, MJ's Off the Hook Creations. Whew. Sorry, maybe I'm talking too much. I don't have real good breath. You know, I'm recovering from the COVID. So maybe I'm just talking a little bit too fast, but. It's from the collection of hers. It's called Rusty Road Crop Top. And it, it's just two panels. And she shows you how to sew them up. It is a crop top, but it doesn't have to be a crop top. You can make this thing as long in length for you as you want. It can be a cover dress for a swimsuit. Or, or like on the beach. I'm going to take you over here and show you what I've done with it. I have finished the crochet part of it. Now what you're supposed to do before you even put it together, it's two panels. One second. <laughs> Need a drink. Uh, okay, sorry. Sorry, my people. Uh, you need to block it. And I've never blocked anything in my life, okay? I don't really know how. I've never seen it done. Well, I've seen it on the video, but nobody in live person has showed me how to do it. So I have rigged up something, and I'm going to take you guys over here and show you what I've got. And tell me in the comments, do you think this will work? Yes or no? I don't know if it will or not. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get this camera. All right. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm trying not to wiggle you too much. My people, my peeps. 
Okay. Okay. Can you see that? I hope you can. This is the, the, the panels. Okay. And the panels are supposed to be, well, we all know that blocking is wetting it and letting it dry. And I have put a blanket up here on this table. I hope I'm not messing up my wood. And I have uh, wet these panels, stretched them out, and pinned them. And I'm going to let them dry. So I hope this works. Oliver seems to like it a lot. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll know tomorrow. I don't know. Can you get a blow dryer and blow them dry? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So that, that's what it is. And you seam it up. Of course, you even it up. And you seam it up the back to the to the to the neck, and then you seam the front up, and wh wherever it's going to be, you know your back, your front, and then you seam the sides up to to make the armholes. And you leave a place for the armholes. I don't know. I'm going to link that. Let's go back over here. Let's go back over here where I can sit down. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My fine people. Okay okay so i'm gonna link the the pattern and her website in the description box and if you'll go over there and look at this it's called the rusty road crop top there's a free downloadable pattern for that uh, i think you can look at it without you don't have to download it just look at it and see if you think or read it somebody that knows blocking see if that'll work I guess I'll know tomorrow either way if it's going to work. But that's my latest endeavor. <laughs> or picked up endeavor. So, that's what I've been doing today. Whew. Just that little bit gets me out of breath. I've been up since 3.30 this morning. It could be why I'm tired. I just couldn't sleep. I don't know if it's that antiviral medicine they give you for this COVID or what, but I'm ready for this stuff to be over with. My husband is still fever free, but he is so tired, all he wants to do is rest and sleep. My sister-in-law and I have had a fever off and on all day again today, so. My husband goes back to his primary care doctor tomorrow, and we'll see how he's doing. And I really don't have a lot for you today. For one thing, I'm short of breath, and I'm sure you don't want to hear all about my illness. We could crochet and chat, but I'd have to talk. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to much more. So, I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better. It, it's late in the evening. Well, it is late for me. A lot of my friends out there are night owls, but I'm not one of them. I always work the day shift as a nurse. And so, I like to get up at the crack of dawn. I like to get my stuff done. I like to get it finished. That's just how I am. And then when the sun goes down, I want to go to sleep. So, that's just me. So, maybe this is a little bit more about me than you knew. I don't know. I hope so. I hope as we go along, you guys will get to know me better. And please leave me some comments. I'm already getting to know some of y'all. Some of y'all have sent the sweetest comments. Thank all of y'all. I've already thanked you, but I thank you on here. I thank you on here and, and appreciate every one of you. So, if you would comment, especially about this blocking uh, rig I've got set up over here. I don't know if it's going to work. I have that big old table in the middle of the room, so I thought I would just give it a go. And see, I guess I'll know by tomorrow, or maybe you guys can leave me some hints, or I don't know what I, I've got them pinned with pins on that blanket, so I don't know. I don't know, my friends. I don't know, but I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to get some rest tonight, and I'll check back with you. Thank you for sticking with me. I so appreciate y'all. God bless you. Stay well. And from this little West Texas town, this girl's calling it a wrap. Good night.